Developing tonight, the future of banning Lewis Ranch in the city's hands. City Council held its first public meeting on the area's proposed annexation agreement. New size Lena Halland tracking what people had to say tonight. She's live in studio. Lena. Well, lots of different opinions were put out in the playing field tonight. Some asking for more time, but many just saying there's not quite enough clarity on what this deal could mean in the long run. Now, for background on this, the city wants to redo the annexation agreement that was first made in 1988. At that time, it was anticipated over 125,000 people would live on the Springs East Side, and the development would pay for itself. Since then only parts of the huge area have been built because of costs. Now the city says getting a new smaller master plan could satisfy housing demands and bring in revenues. But tonight we heard many concerns come forward. Uh, there is no discussion about affordable housing. There's no discussion about transit. There's no discussion about uh, who in fact is going to play uh, pay for police and fire. The public needs to be aware that the first building that's built out there is going to require police and fire protection. I think that um, whether it's a game changer, I'm not sure that it's a game changer as much as it's you know uh, bringing online land that's been in the city for a long time and eventually was going to be developed anyway. And council members have also said the idea here is to adjust the annexation agreement to make it so developers can develop it in a way that pays for itself. Council is holding another public meeting to continue this conversation on February 2nd. The earliest vote that they the earliest time that they could vote on this would be at the end of February. Rob.